than great composer Bobby. Watch his magnificent skills. After I got back from the academy, I spent a very long time organizing my room. Bobby is now enjoying the fruits of my labor, as he finds the quick access to the swords, which are made of plastic. And you see that there's a, uh, there's a ton of them here. And a hatchet for axe murdering, except hatchet murdering. And I still have... The box from when the sisters were so nice on Valentine's Day. Bobby, do you still have your box? I do. You do? Yeah, it's up the itch here. I mean, it's up at... Where are you? Awesome. I think. See, we love you, sisters. So, yes. Faux pas. Faux pas. It has foxes. That's what I bought it. It's actually, spelled, it's actually pronounced fox paws. You know, it says faux pas, but it's pronounced fox pas. That's why it's a joke. And you remember all of my foxes. Careful, Bobby. He'll cut your finger off. In your hand, and this is my crackbook pro, uh, MacBook Pro, and uh, yes, it is new. With my keyboard and Garage Band, I'm about to become an elite music player, but I don't even know how to play the piano yet, so I'm still working on that. Um, also, Rosie, if you guys remember Rosie, she made it into a local uh, charity calendar. On the page here. There she is. Look at that, Bobby. See, it's Rosie. That's not her. Yeah, it is. It's a little bit widened, I guess. I think it is, but that's her. That's her. I'm, I'm serious. I mean, look at the back. Right there, it says. Uh, Rosie Piaseni, owner of Jonathan Piaseni. See? See? Right there. You see it, Bobby? Wow. Yep. Onward! Say hi for my brothers and sisters. They're still on my space and such. Got the goods. Got the goods. That's the corner where Dan drew blood. No, 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 no. Over here is where. Over there. Yeah, it was over here. Oh, okay. This is where. This is where. Uh, there was that fateful accident that fateful day. And the hospital visit. Yes. Good times. Yeah. And a couple of things have changed, but not much. Mostly just this little patio area at the back of the. Uh, uh, the, shed, uh, the outdoor kitchen wasn't there before, but uh, mostly the same. Can you see all of me in the sword in the picture? Yeah. This is my sword. I got it shortly after going to the academy. 
uh, getting back to the academy, rather. Um, it's uh, carbon Sorry, steel, having fun. I believe. Um, Is that from the sword store? It's on. Uh, no, it's not from that sword store on 59. Oh, dude, it's I want to go there from so bad. A website called Real Armor of God. That was pretty interesting. Uh, they were actually out of stock on the one I really wanted, but this one was pretty cool, so I got the hit. As a bonus, this is a beating stick. Now Bobby is wielding the weapon of choice. What will he do with it? So I was walking towards a dragon the other day, and uh... Yeah! Didst thou slay the foul beast? I hope so. I just wanted to do that noise with, uh, you know, pulling out a sword like. I know what yeah! you mean. Yeah! You know, my kids do it at home. You know, same thing. Bobby, do you have a sword? I don't have a sword. You should get a sword. I need to. I'm probably going to go to that store on 59 today and buy a sword. Really? I have money. Monies. That's pretty nice. It actually needs to be cleaned a bit. Yeah. You'll notice that there's some uh, dirtiness on it from uh, vanquishing past. I uh, vanquished some eggplants in midair. It was pretty cool. I have some film of that somewhere. Is there anything we can cut? Um, not that my dad wouldn't see because he has my MySpace. Oh. <laughs> well, let's go to the neighbor's house. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! No, maybe not. Are you ready? Whoa! Whoa! Press up. server. I don't know if anyone was here last time and took a look in this little room and found it totally messy. It's much less messy now and uh, has a good interfacing setup. This little thing here holds all of our files uh, that we put on the network. So it's sort of like Genesis for us uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, except it also allows for remote access to our machines. Uh, this took about three days to set up correctly um, because uh, the end user is not actually supposed to get this, but because I was able to find a loophole in, a, in an agreement, I was able to install it myself even though I'm not supposed to be able to. So it took forever, but uh, once I got it working, it was great. So you guys can see Mercy Embraced here. They're a bunch of bums making music for God. Um, I don't think that one's typically in the band, I'm not sure. I don't think that one is either, but these guys, Brad, Lead Dude, what was the name and uh, there's the Tyler. Oh I think he's a Gary guitarist now. He used to be a keyboardist. Like, They're always changing. Oh, so and there's Corey, who cannot play softly on his drums. But the guy from you got everything here. So you know Joe. That's Waldo. Waldo. And uh, Mikey. Who, who Dang it. is oh, like Bobby in certain respects. I don't know if you can tell what respect that is, but I can't. 